Dying Light 2 is changing, and it's changing for good. Techland is actually bringing in many community requested content, like we saw with the recent update. But the amount of stuff they have planned for the future update will actually blow your mind. So today we'll be checking out some of them, starting with the title. Yes, it's not clickbait, Techland is actually adding a new water zombie in Dying Light 2. So when you go inside the water, after a few seconds of being there, you will actually see a black color blob chasing you. Now keep this in mind, currently it's a prototype, so that's why we don't see any model here. It's just a black blob that would be replaced later with a new zombie type in the future update. Now this black color blob that you see, well it chases you and it's sort of in its current state, attacks you and kind of poisons you. So even though I see electricity around me, I feel like it's gonna be more like a poison, just like an octopus ink. Whatever this creature is, it will surely scare the shit out of you when you enter the water. By the way, this poison does low damage but it goes on for a long time. Now since it's a prototype, all of this can change. I honestly would love if Techland replaces this black blob with a drowner. Instead of them doing damage over time, I would love for the drowners to grab me under the water. I mean they are drowners so it's their job, they gotta do that. Now I actually wanna know from you guys, would you love to see the drowners replaced with the black blob? They can surely make two different versions for the drowners, one that actually stays underwater and grabs you and starts drowning you and the second one could be the one that we find outside the one that actually blows up on your face this honestly would be my suggestion to techland but yeah we're surely getting a water zombie in dying light 2 now i don't know when but it can drop anytime in any future update or maybe even in a dlc next if you played dying light then you would remember this camouflage skill you do remember that right well that skill is actually making a comeback in dying light 2 yes the skill has been found inside the game files and it was recently added with the community update just check it out i think this would be part of the community update do, but I'm not really sure about that. Bringing the skill back is definitely a right move by Techland. Next, we're gonna be checking out a few changes that were secretly added with the latest patch. Now, I did cover some of the changes in a previous video, so I won't be showcasing them here, but I would surely reference them. If you wanna see them in detail, then you can watch that video. But let's look at some of the stuff I did not mention there and have recently discovered them. So, you remember the change that Techland did with the one-handed weapon ground pound? They actually added a new animation to that. But, what I did not realize was the fact that when you go unarmed and do the same ground pound you actually smack your hand on the ground which honestly just looks amazing also do remember this was the previous animation before this thing got changed so yeah techland props to you in fact they even changed the animation for crowd runner skill check it out Next is the animation for landing on the cars, which has been changed slightly. Next is the stackle skill, which blurs your surrounding, and I feel like this is a bug because it's not supposed to be like this. So yeah, expect a fix in the future. Next is a slight change in the dropkick animation. It's quicker and less floaty. Next, the amortizer landing animation has been changed slightly, just like the landing on cars. Next, we've got a new propane tank throwing animation. Check it out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Next, there's a slight change with the gameplay. Now the enemies who don't have any loot on them, well, you won't get an option to search their body, which if you ask me is a good change. Next is a really good change done in the menu where you would find how much distance you have traveled in the game. You can always find this option inside the extras menu. Also, you would have realized something with the inhibitors. It was not maxed out before, but somehow you have free inhibitors. Yeah, it's actually crazy because you get free inhibitors in the game without doing anything. And honestly, I don't know if that's intentional or not. Also, if you play the game enough, you will actually find a few changes done with the paraglider where its animation and the hovering animation has changed a bit. Not too much of a difference there. By the way, there are more changes done to the weapon damages and I can guarantee you that there are many changes that we have not yet discovered. I mean, Techland for some reason kept these changes secret and there are no patch notes or official information on these changes. But we all know it happened. I guess they really just wanted to keep them a surprise. Anyways, guys, that's everything I have found added so far in the game. Let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this video and if it did then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more dying light to info and i'll see you guys in the next video till then stay safe and stay human